All right. Um, so we're back again with uh, Atram and John, and what are we doing this time, John? Huh. This pack's pretty dead. You storm? You can always try it, I guess. Which do we grab? Frantic search or cloud of fairies? Probably frantic search. Okay, we'll grab a frantic search and just keep our eyes open on other things that open up. It's foil. Genesis is pretty good. Genesis is pretty good. Is there anything else worth grabbing here? I don't know, like a hymn to Turok. Not great with frantic search. Yeah. Gonna be a wasted pick. Akamiba's fine. If we go storm dark ritual. Yeah. Dark so, Ritual's not even great in the Storm deck, though. It's alright, but it's not great, I agree. Yeah. Uh, so what do you want, then? Genesis, I guess? Yeah. We'll grab Genesis, and we'll keep our eyes open on everything. Uh. Uh, well, Storm just seems unplayable right now. Uh, well. I think. Hmm. What do we want? <laughs> okay, fine. We can go else. I don't like doing blue green over and over again. Because we keep losing with it? Yes. We don't have to play blue. Okay, so green what? I don't know. Green white sucks. <laughs> green black's not great. Green red's abysmal. Green green's just bad. <laughs> green. <laughs> Green red isn't the worst if you go like these sorts of things. Let's after grab a goon and see if we can get into that goblin. Okay. I never thought I'd see that day. What? Me suggesting going into goblins? Yeah. Fourth pick, like we see a goon, that means we should go into goblins. Well, there was nothing else that I liked in that. <laughs> I like blue green a lot. It's all right. It can be consistent, but since it gets drafted so heavily, yeah, your odds of getting it working are slimmer. We could have gone green red, like with aftershock. That's not bad. Could have. Mm. Genesis and goblins, huh? Yeah, you can do Genesis and goblins. Maybe we draft fires of Yavamaya. We did see the fires. Fires usually tables. Yeah, so you want to grab a Goblin Patrol or a Root Walla? A Root Walla. You want to grab a Root Walla? Yeah, we have three green cards. Well, that'll make it three green cards. Yeah. Okay, we'll grab a Root Walla. Goblins, Goblins, Goblins. We'll take the mana. I'll just be all disappointed about this draft. What? Gr <laughs> green is... Could be green... Okay, people are... I have to go off here. You you mute your mic for a moment. I'm going to grab the mantis. Um, use your clicker and point to what you want. You want a falter? Okay, we can grab a falter. Um, so we'll hide that. I guess we grab a falter. Hmm... All right, we got a bunch of degenerates <laughs> just shooting off fireworks in my parking lot. Where my car is, by the way, so hopefully the discarded ones don't fall onto my car. You're just going to burn marks all over your car, John. Yeah. You'll get over it. Eventually. No, I won't. Turn 3 Goblin Goon is pretty cool. It's funny. Yeah, this could be a, a good Fires of Yavamaya deck. It could be. A goblin goon is fine in that deck. Doesn't have to be goblins, like Simeon Grunt is great. Sure. Um, yeah, I guess we can grab a Simeon Grunt. Mm -hmm. Really hope that fires tables now. If it doesn't, we're going to have to figure out something. Because hmm. <laughs> that means someone else jumped in on red green. It very rarely happens. Probably because red green's not that strong, but it can be. 
right? Usually it, it just has some a lot of glaring weaknesses to it. Yeah. Um The Red Green Duck doesn't care for the goblins as much, but it wants like the chain lightnings, kindles, solar blasts. Uh was fire in our open opening pack or the pack after? Uh it was in our opening pack, I believe. Oh, well, we're grabbing a chaos board. Yeah. Okay, well, at least this is something slightly different than last time. Yeah. Blue, but for sure not open, so... Right. And someone grabbed that Dark Rachel, too. Mm-hmm. Or was that in the next pack? I can't remember. Um... I think it was in the next one. It's in this yeah. one. Yep, there it is. Uh... Grab a Goblin? Yeah. Grab a Nostalgic Dreams? I hate dreams. You hate dreams? Yeah. You just don't like, you're not a dreamer, huh, John? Well, there you go. Aftershock came back. Mm hmm. Or there's a patrol. Like the Aftershock. Okay. You like them a lot? <laughs> I like them a lot. You like a lot of Aftershocks. And a commando? Boom. Did it. Okay. Um. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care either. So that. All right. Okay. Ooh, tyrant's choice. We could be Jun. <laughs> yeah. Hey, John, our Esper deck worked out pretty well. Jun, my favorite combination of all time. I used to play Jun all formats for a while there. I kind of like junk better. With Path to Exile, instead of just killing their guy with Bolt, you want to give him a land. Yeah, but then you exile their guys, so they can't do anything with them ever again. Yeah. Killing it, they can still find ways to do stuff. I like to kill stuff. Survival seems good in this deck, right? Survival Genesis? Survival is absurd. <laughs> Survival right. plus Genesis seems pretty decent. Alright, so we got there. That's exactly the card we wanted. Yes, I agree. Survival plus Genesis, that is filthy. Oh my god. So what are you searching up with survival? Oh, Genesis. Okay. What are well, you doing first, now? Oh, discarding Genesis. Great. So we search up Basking Ruwala. Then we search up Genesis. What, uh, however, it ends up working out. You're right there? Yeah, I was yawning. Uh, oh, we, we could take, take Rorx. Rorx. Yeah. Yeah. 6 5 Fly and Haste Dragon? Yeah. Yep. You have my Elders good too, but. Rorx. We want Rorx. Yeah, that's probably one of the another one of those really good cards we wanted. This almost looks like a cartoon character. It does, doesn't it? Let's see the big art on that. Well, from a distance, it looks like he's just. Well, first off, that's a goblin. <laughs> oh, okay. It looks pretty cool when it's big, but from yeah. a distance, it looks like. Hmm. I saw the first How to Train Your Dragon. I thought it was pretty good. Oh, we could. We have Goblin Lackey, or we have yeah, Solar Blast, Kindle, Goblin Lackey. You want Lackey? We're not really a Goblin's deck. We do have some Goblins. And sp we do have a few, but. Do we want Lackey or, like, Solar Blast? I think you are going to be more of a controlling version of this deck, so Solar Blast, probably. Okay. Mongrel's good. Yeah, Mongrel's perfectly alright by me. Hmm. Well, we've drafted Survival, I think this is our third time. I don't think we've ever actually drawn the card. Yeah, I don't think we ever have either. I or think. If we did, we drew it like right as we were about to die to Battle Screech. Yeah, or like in our mulligan. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we've never played Survival. So that's some Moto Bug. Uh, feel free to contact Worth Walport. Wow, Shivan Worm? That seems what is pretty decent. <laughs> That's very good. When it enters the battlefield, return a red or green creature you control to its owner's hand, but it's a 7-7 seven, seven for 5 with Trample. Yeah, I'll we'll snap that up. Yep. Seems like it's just meant for our deck here. Yeah, we can return Rorix. Why would you return Rorix? Value. Just because he has haste? Why not Val return, like, Goblin Commando so you can do damage? It was a joke. Also, value. Perfect. 
person does here? Yeah. Yep. Now that is good value there. That helps us a lot. Humph. Anyone? Uh, ideally, we hit like Black Lotus here so we can cast Rorx on turn 3. Black Lotus, turn, two. turn 1, survival. No, Black Lotus, Finn Hornells. Turn 2, land. Turn 3, land Rorx Blade Wing. I don't want to hear your pipe dreams. Now, do we take Wall of Diffusion or Claws of Wirewood? Or Spark Spray? Fuck the Battle Screech deck. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I want to see that jab right through every single bird. Just <laughs> kill the bird. They kill say that the bird more. Yeah. Kill it more. They say the forest has eyes. They never mention its claws. Well, we just mentioned it. Just right through that bird's neck. Or is that the wing? Hopefully it's its heart. Hopefully it's its heart. I just want to pull an Indiana Jones uh, 3, where the dude, you know what I'm talking about, right? Where the guy takes his heart out while he's still living. Oh, yeah. Uh, Savannah? Kindle? Very take the money. To Kindle. Take the Kindle or the money, I don't care. Savannah's not even worth much. It's dual. It's not Savannah. worth much. It's, it's like three. three. Sure, I'll take the three. Whatever. Yeah. Another falter. Okay. I mean, we could splash white for something if we need to now. Yeah. So Kindle's probably better for our deck, but... Well, we'd already passed one, so it just felt odd, you know? We could take an Orcish Lumberjack. Yeah, we'll play that card. Because you go, like... That just helps us, like, ramp out things like this and this. Yeah. Yeah, turn three Rorix is pretty dumb. Let's see. Turn one, Mountain Lumberjack. Turn two, Forest, Tap both, Sack. Play that. Bounce <laughs> Lumberjack. Yeah. Turn yeah, two, Lumber Shivan Worm. Go. What? Lumberjack is pretty good in this sort of. I'm okay, just well, screw here's... over the player. Unless Are you want nostalgic dreams. You don't want. I don't care what you do. <laughs> what, uh, what do you want? Nostalgic dreams. Sure, we can take the nostalgic dreams. Because we can discard Genesis. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Third falter? Can our enemies falter or not? Uh, sure. Or it's, re or it's reckless charge. I think we want reckless charge. Okay. Probably not playing, uh, yeah. Probably not playing the third falter. Uh, do we want Desert Twister or Triangle? Which? I guess Desert Twister. Okay, and we picked up a Wall of Diffusion on the All right. Rebound. Might even play that, because we have the Toolbox thing going on here. Yep. Memory Jar. <sighs> wow, we could have actually probably played the Storm deck. <laughs> so we open Mythic Memory Jar. And... Nothing else really good. Maybe a Kendall, a Flowstone Helium, a Goblin Commando. Yeah, Memory Jar is not the greatest in our deck, but it's still. It would have been great in the Storm deck. Which is so it's, stupid. It's still, like, pretty good. I mean, we can take it. It's not worth anything, so it's just. Well, it's, it's still good. Like, you draw into Genesis, discard Genesis. Sure. We'll grab it. Thank you. Fastbound seems good for us. Is it actually? Gets these things out quicker. I don't think Fastbound's really that great of a card. Well, it's not the greatest card, but it's still good for us, I think. I don't think it is. Why is it good for us? Because if we draw like an opener that's like three lands, Fastbound, something, something up here in the range, we can just go boom, everything on turn one. I, re I really don't Plus think that... Plus, we flood out a lot. I don't think that card's very good. What would you rather have? Simian Grunt, probably? But you're yeah. in love with that card, so you have to disregard the fact that you're in love with that card. That's <laughs> what I want. I'm taking the fast bomb. Okay. It's gonna be terrible. Quite possible. Uh, Fire Blast? Sure. Or would you like a Spark Spray? Nah, Fire Blast is fine. Hopefully Mountain Valley Wheels. We can take another goon. Yeah, he's good. He's a big... He's a big... Something. 
Oh, Fistburn is such a bad card. Why do you say that? It just is. Goblin Warchief. <laughs> or Lumberjack. Or Warchief to go with the goons. Or another Lumberjack. Hmm. Lumberjack will wheel. Okay, he always pick. wheels. If he yeah. doesn't wheel, I will be seriously freaking surprised. <laughs> He's a very powerful card. Right, but he always wheels. Because Fast Bond, when you draw it on turn 5, you just want to kill yourself. Sure, it's bad on turn 5. Fast Bond is like what you want to do with Gush, and we don't... Have Gush? No. <laughs> If we were blue green gush, if we had like two gushes and a fast bond, then I could sure. see me playing it. But grasslands or boar? And I'll show. Alright, we'll take a boar. Um, spark spray or aberration? Hmm. Thinking spark spray probably. Okay. Just gives us a little bit of like removal if we need it. You know. It's the only kind of shower goblins will tolerate. Yes, it is. Let's see the big goblin goon picture again. Raw. While we look at that, I'm going to grab a beetle back too. Because we're going to have a goblin something, I guess. Yeah. Well, no one's in the storm deck, which is good, I suppose. <laughs> you want commando? That's fine. Kind of helps with, as I said, we do have a little sub theme with double goon, double commando, war chief, and yeah. a beetleback chief. Memory jar. Memory jar. For the filthiness. That's another thing, though. If we cast, like, fast bond, then go memory jar, hit, like, five lands, you can just play all your lands. Take five damage? Sure. Don't get me wrong. I understand that you take a bunch of damage. Why would we want to do that? Because what did we... you can cast huge things. We passed the Simeon Grunts for fast bend. Okay. Let's hope that Lumberjack wheels. We'll probably play both of them. I agree. This would be a deck where I'd play Lumberjacks. Does that thing have flavor text? Wood is wasted in the dirt. <laughs> oh, you silly orcs. Ankle thicker? Yeah. Probably actually won't play it because we don't want basic forests. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Could take, yeah, maybe Reckless Charge there. And we already got one of those. I don't think we need another. Oh, Close. where's our Lumberjack? I think he's in this next one. Okay. Boom, Foil Falter. What's the next one? There he is. Hooray! <laughs> I knew he'd wheel. He just, <laughs> they just wheel. <laughs> he's got an epic beard. Uh, is that a... Yeah, that's... Wow. Oh, huh. I thought that was like a cloth over his face or something. But I guess it's probably an epic beard. Yeah, let's make it a little bigger. Yeah, that is an epic beard. Epic beard. And that thing's just being torn to shreds. Whoops. Sorry, bro. Yeah, that is an epic beard. <laughs> <laughs> epic beard. I think it goes okay. all the way down to his, like... Wow. Yeah. <laughs> it's got to be like a few feet long. It teaches you to play dead. Yes, it does. All right, Rorix the deck. Rorix dot deck. I really want to go turn three Rorix. Well, since we got two lumberjacks, it's actually a lot more feasible than it used to be. Uh huh. So we got those. We got this. We can actually technically go. Turn, no, you can't do turn two rocks. No. But you can do turn three. The only way to do turn two rocks is fast bond. Yes, fast about, bond. That gets uh, you turn two rocks. Why did I say that? <laughs> because you didn't want me. You're like fast bond. Oh, but that makes fast bond actually usable. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to grab all the goblins in the first go through. Yeah. We'll add some number of falter at the end since we have three of the damn thing. Right. So goblins, we've got the Shivan Worm and the Genesis and all that. Throw in a solar blast. Solar blast. Mantis. 
mainboard wire claw. Maybe. We'll see. No, I am mainboarding that thing. I'm not losing to that deck again, John. Well, that's just being results-oriented. I don't give a shit if it's results-oriented. I think it's bad unless it's in the fires. Fine. Memory yeah, jars. Like... Take out this piece of crap. No, Take out this piece. We're going to try this piece of crap. It's very bad. I don't care. We're going to try it. It's horrible. I don't care. We're trying it. <laughs> okay. I'm just telling you it's terrible. Fine. Put in a card that wins the game. <laughs> Fine. I think we take out this guy too. Well, take out. Is Chaos Warp good? It can be. I don't it, think that card's good. It at least good. temporarily gets rid of something huge. But not really, they just get another guy. Yeah, but hopefully it's not something as huge. And they could get a land too. What? They can get a land too, and they can just whiff as well. Can you. Let me see that card. Basically, you make them shuffle the permanent into their library, yeah. then they reveal the top. If it's a permanent, they go, it goes on the battlefield, otherwise it just sits there. Okay. So, if they have any instants and sorceries in their deck, could hit any of those. If it hits a land and we put away a creature, good. If, it, if we put away, like, an astral slide or something like that, mm -hmm. it's not the worst. Well, I think this could work. Yeah. 17 creatures. Uh, survival. Genesis. Rorks. Yep. Oh, that's filthy. What? Genesis plus Chris and Tusker? Yeah, there's all sorts of dumb things <laughs> that you can Get do. Get back Chris and Tusker. Cycle Chris and Tusker. Get yeah, back Chris and Tusker. Cycle Chris and Tusker. <laughs> yeah, there's all sorts of neat little tricks. That's just gross. I'm gonna play this. <laughs> Why? What? There's no problem playing it. I'm gonna add an extra uh, forest because of the lumberjacks. Yeah. Lumbering. All right. Well, despite how skeptical I was going into this, this actually looks like it could be a workable deck. Yeah. Too bad we didn't take that. We didn't get that fires, but. Yeah. That makes me wonder why someone grabbed it, though, because usually people just don't grab it. Right. Okay. All right. Well, we'll see you all in round one.